Hello, and welcome back to Colonial Airstream. I'm Patrick Botticelli, and we're at the Hershey, Pennsylvania RV Show 2022. And I'm excited to show you for the very first time the all new 2023 Airstream Rangeline. This is built on the Ram ProMaster 3500 series chassis, 159 inch wheelbase, extended platform. It is 20 feet 11 inches from bumper to bumper, and it's nine feet three and a half inches tall. It is rated at 18 to 20 miles per gallon, can tow up to 3,500 pounds, has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,350 pounds, giving you a cargo carrying capacity of 1,600. Now, right, base MSRP is 131,882, and there's only one available factory option. That is a pop top that will give you sleeping for two additional people. Yes, right. This van can sleep up to four people. There's two different exterior decors. We have the bright silver metallic over here, and we have the granite crystal metallic back there. There's two different interior decors. There's the Moonstone gray, and there's the Admiral Navy. They both have the same exact laminate, countertop, and flooring material. It's just the color of the seats. Today, I'm gonna to take you through and give you some of the details on this one right here. Starting with a manual Thule awning. There's 200 watts of solar on the roof. This has an impressive 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and a 270 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with heat. That is the game changer battery. There's also a gasoline generator on board. It's 2.8 kilowatt. That is the Onan generator. And it has a 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator with 0.04 freezer inside. Large running boards here with lots of grip extend it all the way up to the passenger door. There's even a spot here for your dog leash. Airstream always does their screen doors right. Look at this screen door, slides right across, really fills up this whole area. All the cabinets are pliable with laminate. Heavy duty grab handle here. But no matter what height you are, you can have an easy spot to grab to. Vinyl woven flooring here with a rubber membrane underneath. Gives you lots of grip, very easy to clean, very durable. Lots of really cool accents inside. That aluminum that Airstream is so famous for, they put it here in the step area. And this is a front wheel drive chassis. And the major benefit to that is that the drivetrain is all up front. So there's no tunnel for a drive shaft. Makes it a lot easier for a manufacturer to do an RV conversion. Also, to get inside, it's a lot less height, so you don't need that big power step to get in and out. Airstream orders this as a window van, so it's ordered from Ram with windows all the way around. Airstream replaces a couple of those windows, three to be exact, with venting windows with screens built in. It gives it a really nice touch. Also, they check off a lot of boxes. There's a lot of features and amenities that are available from Ram on this chassis that Airstream gets. One of them being the factory swivel seats. So instead of an aftermarket seat, which raises the seat up quite a bit, they have the factory swivel seats here. And then they refinish them in beautiful ultra leather. This decor is the Admiral Navy that we're in right now. I'm gonna jump inside and give you an idea of the lay of the land so you understand where things are in the floor plan. Driver, passenger, swivel chairs. Steps here, so when you're sitting in the chair, your feet aren't dangling, you put them up here. This table unhooks and slides out, so you could actually sit four people at this table. And if you look over here, there's seating for two people because even though this one doesn't have the optional pop top, if you did, you'd have to be able to safely seat those people. Because of that, Airstream went ahead and got three-point shoulder harnesses, and they also have a child seat tether built into them. So if your kids are in car seats, they'll be able to seat safely. There's a center galley kitchen. It has a wet bath with toilet and shower, and this is a regular toilet with a black tank. The freshwater tank is an impressive 28 gallons. There's 19 gallons of gray waste, and there is a 12 gallon black waste tank for the toilet. In the back, there is a 72 inch by 52 and a half inch double bed. This folds completely up to allow you to load cargo inside. 
You have a Vertifrigo 3.2 cubic foot compressor style refrigerator with 0.04 cubic foot freezer inside. There's a 0.07 cubic foot contour regular microwave on board. This fan is jam packed with goodies. And another thing is it's very clean. There's not a lot of switches and gauges and dials on board. That's because up here they went with touchscreen. So all this stuff here you control from the control boards here. You can monitor your tanks. You can start and stop the generator on board. You can turn on and off the lights. You also have all your HVAC controls. There's also an automatic start for the generator. You can even download the app and control some of the things locally with your phone. So if you're outside underneath the campfire and you want to dim the lights in the RV, you can do that all from your cell phone locally. There's a Timberline heating system. This is uh, what heats your water and heats the room inside. And that runs off the regular 24 gallon gasoline tank that's on board for your engine. And the engine is a Pentastar 3.6 liter V6 engine. Now that you know the lay of the land, let me dive into some of the details. We'll start right here. We got some storage pockets here. This area is to kick off your shoes and they have a nice place to store and a rubber mat which is removable for cleaning. Underneath this lounge seat there's a storage compartment that opens up and this is the latch to keep it shut. There's also an electrical outlet and USB off to the side. The table is not only removable and it has that extra leaf that comes out, but if you lift it up high enough it's on a track. So you could really push it in and out to get your adjustment right. There are some lights here, which also double as reading lights. These just pull down and they're adjustable. That's pretty sharp, both of them do. And then there is a window here with a slider. So this opens up. And this has pockets in it, so you can stuff your cell phone in, or you could roll it up nice and neat and snap it right into place and get the view of the beautiful campsite or harvest hose that you're staying at. Over to dinette, there's a roof locker here with heavy duty hinges. It's all finished on the inside. There is a speaker that comes with it, a JBL that's stored over here. Has a little case to carry it around. In the galley area, really clean lines on all these drawers. They're all even, they're all straight. We'll pull some of them out. We got an induction cooktop, that's right. There is no propane on board. There's nothing in here that runs on propane. So now you could drive through tunnels. So this induction pulls out, you can plug it into any of your electrical lads, or you can even bring it outside and cook. We'll go run down. You got a storage compartment here. These have a large face to them, but because of the pocket here, it's cut in. But you can put your trash bags here, trash pail. And then over here, you got three total, all even size. This one's cut out for the drain for the sink. And then this one here is faux. And then over here, we got a removable cutting board style sink cover for a stainless steel sink with a nice faucet. Airstream does not waste any space. So there was a void here that they utilized for, you can put spices in there, you can put your hot sauce in there. There's another pocket here. There's another one here. There's another one of those lights right here. They really do an excellent job. We're selling Airstreams for 20 years. I'm always super excited when they come out with new products. I've been waiting for this one for a very, very long time. I'm excited to show you for the very first time. Right above you is a Max Air fan. So this is a, a remote Max Air fan. It has a lid built into it, which allows you to keep this open when it's raining, or you can just leave it open when it's in storage. I leave mine open all the time in my Airstream. And then in the back, there's a 13,500 BTU air conditioning, which also has a soft start built into it. That way you don't get that big surge every time the air conditioning kicks on when your generator has to rev up and down. Showed you earlier all the controls for the Firefly. There is so much you could do through here, but the heating part of it and the hot water is separate through the Timberline system. And the generator also has an auto start feature that you could set up, which is impressive. There's some key hooks here. There's a storage compartment above the galley. 
There's another one above the microwave and you can see it's labeled it's plugged into an inverter circuit. So that means that will run off your inverter. You don't have to start the generator. You will to run the air conditioning. There's some hooks here incorporated in and then Airstream always keeps in mind one day someone's going to have to service this. So they give you a service access port here to get to the shower area for service. There's even a large void behind the seat for additional storage. So they really utilize a lot of space. I get the picture getting those tubular camping chairs and sliding them in here and, and storing. And look how high the backrest is. This isn't just a cushion that's Velcroed to the wall. This is an actual seat and it's a very comfortable seat for a very long ride. Let's move back a little bit more. We'll go back underneath the refrigerator. There's a drawer here and this is where your dog food and water could store or whatever pets you're trying to feed. And on this side is a step to get up into the bed platform. It has some grip tape built into it and this even lifts up and there's additional storage inside. It might even fit a small tablet computer. You might be able to hide it in there. This opens up and this is a full wardrobe with adjustable shelves. Most people don't hang their clothes when they're camping. They fold them or roll them. And this is a very efficient way to use this space. Now we'll go back to the bed area. Now you can see the bed's not set up. That's because you're not sleeping all day long. So why would you need a bed that's permanent back here? This bed folds away because maybe during the day you're gonna do other activities back here. So it's a nice void that gives you the flexibility to utilize this motorhome for your wants and needs. On the floor, there's L-Track here, so you could tie down a mountain bike or whatever gear you wanna bring. There's more service access ports. There's aisle lights down here, but this is where that big game changer, 270 amp hour lithium iron phosphate heated battery is stored. There's storage pockets here with removable little screens here. This is the fuses and breakers on board. It's an AC-DC system. On this side, there's a vent here. There are wheel wells back here with the fresh water tank, that big 28 gallon fresh water tanks molded right over the wheel well. There's a drawer up top here, and then another service access point. You could turn on and off the lights from here. This is a removable pad. You could put this anywhere in the motorhome. Turn down the water pump. Or you could use your center control of the Firefly system up front. So you have two different places. But if you're laying in bed, it might be easier to do it from here. You got two large overhead roof lockers in the bedroom. Now let's talk about the finish. This is the aluminum skin that's on an Airstream travel trailer. It's also on the inside. The difference is the insulation. Airstream used lizard skin. It actually sprays into the metal van. When you knock on a metal van, it's very tinny. Just like this sink, little tinny, right? Well, some kitchen sinks and homes have a spray on the outside. It makes them really quiet and really thick feeling. Well, that's what they sprayed the whole entire van with. That's your insulation on board. And it's very impressive and it brings the road and noise levels down when you're driving greatly. The back doors open up all the way out. We'll get to see that when we jump outside, but before we head outside, there's a insect screen back here, a privacy screen built in. There's some pockets here. There's some pockets here because these are windows on both sides. There's more overhead roof lockers on this side. And then back here, there's a cell phone charger that you can snap your cell phone in to give it a charge. And wait, we forgot to do the bed and the bathroom. So let's head right to the bathroom, slide this door open. It's a timbre door and we'll turn on the bathroom light and look at this space. Let me jump in there. We're doing this live at a show, so there's a whole bunch of people waiting to get inside. There is a sink that folds down right here and the faucet comes up. You can wash your hands when you're done. You also have the control to hot and cold water for the shower. The shower wand is removable. You have a mirror back here. You have a regular RV Dometic toilet with foot flush. There's water on board. 
and I am five foot nine and I can stand up straight. I got boots on, a little bit taller. So I would say all in all, there's about five foot 11 in here, but six foot two and a half inches outside. The toilet paper holder also is in a weatherproof housing so when you're showering in there you don't get your toilet paper wet and then everything is made so when you're showering here it doesn't splash out into the hallway. There's also heat built into here so when you have your furnace on it heats the bathroom as well. Welcome to the bedroom. Let's pop these doors open here to get you a really good view. Look at the molly panels that Airstream had built for the back door here. You can store and, and, and snap on a lot of different accessories. Also one on this side, but hidden is a little bottle opener. So you could use that to open up some bottles. There is a freshwater tank fill right here, and it's on the inside. It really cleans up the body lines. There's less things that they had to drill holes and cut holes in the outside of the body. The more you can put inside, Eliminating propane, eliminating a lot of the system really cleans it up. And I have something really cool to show you when we head outside later. There's a hidden compartment built in. The bed, these slats here, you basically just lift this whole thing up and hook it in. And then you fold your mattress out. Seventy two inches, fifty two and a half very large bed and you sleep east west side to side because these ram pro masters are very wide vans but if you look down below look at all the space you still have and look how underneath the mattress these little slats are like springs and they're gaps so it allows proper ventilation to your mattress and that's very important if you're camping in cold weather you want to make sure that your mattress is properly ventilated and then when you come back up, there's a lot of room between the mattress and the ceiling. So if you're sitting in bed and you want to sit up, your head isn't touching the ceiling. And the air conditioning's right here to really keep you cool at night. I'm going to meet you around outside. Remember that hitch receiver I was talking to you about before, 3,500 pound towing? Well, that's right here. There's guards here so you don't bottom out the van. It does have a good amount of ground clearance on these Ram Pro Masters. Very clean lines. Usually you see outdoor shower hookup, city water connection, you see a fresh water tank. All you see is two tailpipes here. One for the generator and one is for that Timberline uh, gasoline heating system. It's a 30 amp shore power. This is the smart plug. Just squeeze and pull and that it comes right out and it gives you really good points of contact so your power cord doesn't overheat. You have a black tank release here and you have a gray tank release here. All up, tucked up nice and high. And right behind this trim plate here, undo this little screw, this comes out and there's a magnet here to keep it open for you. Boom. This is where all the systems are hidden. There is a black tank flush. There's an outside light to see what you're doing at night. City water connection right here and an outside spray port. And then when you're all done with it, if you want to be a little stealth, you close it up and there's really not that much besides air conditioning, your solar panels, and a couple little things here that make it even look like a camper van. These Ram Promesters have huge windshields. You can really see the road when you're driving on the highway. And also there's a large screen there for navigation. There's also a large driving camera. So instead of having a backup camera, the rear view mirror is a camera that stays on the whole entire time when you're driving. And it really allows you to see who's behind you. One of my favorite things that Airstream did, it's gonna be hard to see at the show, but these grills originally come all chromed out. Airstream had it all painted black and it matches the black bumpers. And the reason why they didn't paint all these is to give it a very aggressive look and a very forgiving finish. If you're driving through the trail and through the brush and you scuff these things up, these are just plastic. They're easy to replace. You can wet sand it versus painting or the paint would chip off. So they match the grill so it all looks the same. This Ram Pro Master Airstream range line is available at Colonial Airstream. Call a store at 1-800-265-9019. You can visit us on the website at colonialairstream.com. There is a limited amount of chassis that are available. There's a limited amount at the 
early price. There will be a couple price increases throughout the model year due to the chassis price increases, but we'd love to show it to you here at the Hershey, Pennsylvania RV show or at our dealership. This is Patrick. Thanks for joining us today.